this is Al from Open Source Channel and welcome again for the second part on Revive and Server. I'm going to uh, show you a little bit how to get started with Revive. Uh, don't forget to follow me on YouTube website, Google Plus and Twitter. Please share and like my videos to support my channel. Thanks again and let's start. Now I'm going to choose, uh, let me start from here. This is the actual domain I'm going to use to show the uh, banner, the banner hand. As you can see now it's empty. There is a little code there that I have already started messing around. And in a second, I'm going to, I'll tell you what, I'm going to delete it now and I'm going to save it. Now when I refresh this, that should go. Now you want to make sure that um, you clear your cache from your browser because sometimes you might get some problems. Okay, now it's gone. Let's start with the revive. The first thing I'm going to do is click on advertiser and add the new advertiser. I'm going to call it ABC. The contact is going to be the uh, webmaster, let's say like that. And then this is the actual email I'm going to use it. Uh, Email the campaign is automatically activated uh, or deactivated, whatever. Email campaign delivered reports. The report is going to be created and de delivered to this email address every so many days you choose. In this case, I'm going to choose seven. You can choose anything you want. Then after that, just press save changes. Now I'm going to add the new campaign. You can do from here or you can press campaign and then again add the new campaign um, leave it as it is now you've got three options here contract, contract exclusive and remnant now for this demonstration I'm going to use the middle one contract exclusive this campaign is going to be uh, take all the impressions and deliver it before any other campaigns um, but again you can choose which one whatever makes more sense for you or whatever. I'll leave it start immediately and I will not let it expire. Pressing model is up to you. I'm on burning CPM and technically if you're not charging uh, again to have PayPal installed you need a plugin. Um, just a quick one. Let's see if I can get this one here. If I go to administration account or administrator account and I go to plugins, as you can see there are already some plugins installed. You can buy from a Revive website uh, site. I'm not 100 percent sure if it's just Revive, but you can find on Revive a plugin where you can actually start to sell your uh, handwares using PayPal. For more information, just go to Revive webs, uh, webs, uh, website for more information. Now, going back here, as you can say, this ABC, the company, contract exclusive, start immediately, not expiring, CPM. Again, I'm going to put at 20 cents for 1,000, unlimited, the weight I'm leaving one. I'm leaving everything as raised to make it easy for you. This is will work. For more information, please go again back on Revive and you can download the latest uh, how get started. And once you started that, you can go to more advanced. So I press save changes. That's been done and this running. And new banner. I'm going to call it banner 001 and I'm going to browse 
the image I'm going to use a banner 728 by 90 press OK and where I want to go I'm going to put CMS tutorials dot dk now I'm leaving everything as it is all the rest will be automatically uh, handed again if you want the text below the image just put your text here or alternate text just in case it's not uh, it's been turned off you can just put the text that will be the link whatever it become a link right then press save changes now everything is done I'm going to click on delivery here we go this is the actual advert now we're going to create the website where it's going to be delivered in this case I'm going to use this website and I press save changes I'm going to create a new zone for this website again you can name it whatever you want put any description in this case because it was a banner that is the banner the first option and I'm going to choose the size in this case 728 by 90 and I'm going to save the changes once I done that I'm going to link the banner click on this one nothing has been linked then I'm going to choose the company the campaign and I'm going to press this arrow and there we go the banner has been put in the actual zone and the actual zone has been linked to the campaign as well now I'm going back to zone here yeah, and I'm going to click on the invocation code and I'm going to use JavaScript the first thing I'm going to do I'm removing the comments there we go don't show the banner again on the same page I will say no target where they want once they click on the banner where they want it to go on the same window or the new window or default I'm going to choose new window show text below banner I'll say no and don't show the banner from the same campaign I'll say no again auto detect for the character set and support the party click drag it if you want to in this case I'm going to press no and press again refresh job done right click and copy now I'll minimize this open my text editor and I'm going to paste it I'm going to save it minimize and I'm going to upload the file on the server once the operation has been done and I'm going to refresh the page I do apologize for, for this delay here we go we got the actual banner working and when I click it a new window opens up with the actual link as you can see and I'm showing show you now if I go to the banner click on banner 001 and there we go this is the destination as you can see the destination is there I know it's different but because you get automatically uh, what do you call it uh, redirect but if I say for example www.google.com and I'm saving the changes I'm going back here I'm going to refresh of course refresh a couple times now when I click it and uh, you can see it goes to Google 
again please accept my apologies for this I didn't do it properly on the uh, clean on the, uh, the actual cache and again thanks again for following me for this little tutorial on how to get started with uh, your revive ad server thanks again share my videos like my videos support my channels please and thanks again i'll see you next time